How are y'all doing? All right, let's go ahead and do not layout editor, just regular editor. All right, there we go. Performance mode. The voice of God bless. <laughs> I'm not that fancy. So I'm gonna be playing Fate Extra today. I um, I've been looking. Oh, good night, Hugh. Good night, Hugh. I'll uh. Remember, I have that thing for you tomorrow. I hope you're looking forward to it. I uh, want to make sure I got to double check. Hi, Jex. How's it going? Jex, the femboy, immediately leaves. <laughs> All right, control mapping. All right, thank you so much. Uh, have a good day, and thank you for following. All right, so it's keyboard right, up sound. Yeah, that's about what I thought it was. X, Z, A, yep, okay, cool. Chris, oh sweet, thanks for follow, Jex. Oh, I turned that off, whoops. I turned that off, oopsie doopsie. I've kind of forgot to do that, oops. All right, let's see if I can fix that real fast. I cannot fix that real fast. Yeah, I gave you that title because it's true. It's a re it's a real title. Oh, okay. Oops, I see what's happening. Well then, uh, let's see. Without further ado, all right, I gotta add the games. Fate Extra CCC. Distributing this game software over the internet without rightful acknowledgement. Oops, I definitely didn't do that. I definitely did not obtain. Uh, yep, my copy is totally legal. All right, let's see here. Yep, BB channel. It's, um, you'll see. I love BB. Uh, why can't I not hear anything? I swear I didn't mute the stream this time. Oh, it's because I had the output wrong. I knew that. There we go. Yeah, BB channel. You'll see. BB is like the actual best. Yeah, exactly. Completely legal methods, definitely. Oh, um, I do apologize if you can hear the humidifier I've got set up. I am going to be doing a f metric fuck ton of voice acting. So, you know, yeah. All right, which one was the start? Okay. Uh, I don't want to do that. Start new game. Oh, there's a bit of a lag on this. All right, we're going to go bitch basic easy because, well, um, I don't want to have to grind off screen. Ah, thank you, Raguna. We're advised there are a number of dead ends because this is based on a fucking visual novel. This work is a work of fiction. Ed yeah, sure, it's definitely. Bonus data can be read by reaching safe. Yes, I would like to load my save data. Yeah. See, okay, so I'm going to be going Fox Wipe, which just makes this game extra hard because Tomo is like... Okay, you have Nero, who's like ridiculously strong because she's a saber. You have Emiya the Archer, and then you got Tomo. And I mean, I love Fox Wife, but holy shit, she's so, she's so weak. Load data complete. I'm so glad that the team who who did this made sure that it would load the English game data, so I don't have to play the Japanese version. Save data has been read successfully. Bonus item can be viewed from the main menu. Okay. Oh. I guess I should explain real fast. Start confirmation complete. Welcome back. Greetings. Hello. Welcome. Oops. Your arrival comes long overdue again, master. Okay, so I guess I should explain real fast while I can. Also, I hope that's... that's whoa. That's not a thing I meant to do. Uh, let's check this real fast. Disable performance mode. Okay, you should be able to hear this alright-ish, I think. But, um, basically in the previous game, uh, you all, you are, result, play the spirit hacker who hacks into the moon cell. The supercomputer within the moon that's does, based on crystals or something. I don't really understand it, but supposedly photon crystal computers are a thing, which is wild. That's absolutely wild. So, at the end of that, you, uh, your character is discovered to be basically in a coma and won't remember a damn thing. 
and you fight this dude named Twice Peaceman, who is also a, he's like a, basically a program and can't go to the Holy Grail and get his wish granted. And you fight the Buddha. I'm, I'm not making that part up. You, you fight the actual Buddha. Okay, my arrival comes long overdue. All right, this virtual space is Tsukuhimara Academy. Well, it was like a tournament. It wasn't really a, uh, it wasn't really like, um, like an all-out battle royale like the original Fate stuff. It's like a 1v1 tournament. Alright, what's up? I'm pretty sure there's no French servants in this. Yo. That's my name. Yo or yo here, depending on which you prefer. Generated by the pseudo-spiritron world known as Serial Phantasm. Uh, Forest Green. Or Seraph, for short. Yeah, Seraph is another fancy way of saying the moon cell. We apologize for the imposition, but protocol requires that your value merits be scanned now. Label transfer soon. Category. Not allowed to refuse scans. I have no rights. I have no rights. Quality E minus. Oh shit, I have the worst quality of all. Scan complete. Now accessing the near side's records. Whoa. Near side. That was, uh. If that's a reference to the Tsukuhime. Whoa. Well, that can't be good. Our sincere apologies. Records, record access attempts failed. Your name, identity, will need to be verified. Your identity, heart, will need to be verified. Your identity, proof, will need to be verified. We're terribly sorry, but we must ask you to once again input your name, your gender, and your contracted servants. Okay, I played as a guy last time, but fuck it, we girl. Uh... My first name, Yohir. Yo here. Well, is it African or Australian? I think was the one. Oh, I got into my last name. All right, cool. Was it E? No. All right, my last name is VT Kuhn. Yo here, VT. And my nickname is Yo. It's Af oh, it's African Australian. Bro, I haven't watched that movie in forever. Give me, cut me some slack. Ah, no, 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 ah, no, no, no. I want to name my character Yo. And I'll play as a girl because you know my model is a girl. All right. What's the? Hang on. I gotta find something. I gotta find what the start button is. Control mapping. Uh, select space and V. Okay. Oops. Ah, okay, fine. Yes, that is my name. Okay, be disappointed in me. I haven't seen that movie in years. Wait, no, that's, that's my name. Uh, what are you doing? Why can it not? Oh, okay, I see. It looks like I'm highlighted. Okay. There we go. Narrow Bride. Archer. Oh, damn, that's... Just gonna... Just gonna... I'm just gonna enjoy this for a second. Fox Life for Life. And then Gilgamesh. Fuck him. Narrow Bride. No... That's a pretty good too, but no, we go we go Foxwife. I am Foxwife for life, baby. Oof, that was loud. Fair facing complete. We look forward to having you, Miss Yohir VT. 
Yeah, okay, but herbalistic padding is like legit. All right, I'm gonna turn that down because I probably blew out your ears with that. I'm gonna hurt you, Rehan. I'm gonna actually hurt you. Oh, gotta click up here. Good morning to you, we, and we hope you have a nice day. My poor ears. I hope that's not too loud for y'all. Progress of time, zero percent. Wait, what? This is this is the start of Fate Extra. It's a bright sunny morning as I make my way to school. I should really be used to commuting now, but I can't seem to remember the way here. I would I would actually break you. I would actually break you, Chris. I don't care. Soon enough I arrive in front of the school gates. There's still plenty of time left. Other students pass in the same uniform as they pass through peacefully through the academy. Continuing my main routine, Thread, I also head to the gates. Then, I feel as if someone's calling for me, so I hurry up until I see my friend, the student counterpart, Iso Ryudo, standing there. Which reminds me, starting today, they will be doing inspections to ensure we were compliant with school rules. It was the Public Morals Awareness Month or something. Good morning, lovely weather we're having, don't you think? It's a perfect day for studying. Hmm? Why are you giving me that you're acting weird today look? What, you want to know if I'm going to inspect your uniform and if Public Morals Awareness Month is still going on? You're one dis insistently strange. I haven't heard such mints. Perhaps there's an error in your records? So it seems. I have no idea why I took the event to be today myself. Okay, my earballs are actually breaking. Also, I need to fix one thing. Because, oh good god, it's going to bother me. There we go. That's, like, slightly better. Okay, back to performance mode. And... Yes, I'm going to... It's both. I had no idea why I took that... Because that's what happened in the previous Holy Girl War, the prelims. I laugh it off, telling Issei, It's nothing, then head to the school building. Oh, wait a moment. There's a favor I'd like to ask of you. I'm hurting you, Chris, just for saying that. I hope you feel terrible. Sorry, but before you go to class, could you close up the supply room on the first floor? I forgot to lock it. Given my duties, roll. I'm not able to move from here. So they're, they are aware that they're a program this time, because these are all programs. The NPCs are just copies of human beings that once existed. Could you do that for me? The storage room on the first floor. If I recall correctly, it's at the end of the hallway left of the entrance. I still have time until homeroom starts, and it's a request from Issei himself. There's no reason to, to refuse. Do not leave. Do not leave. There's no reason to leave. Ah, oh, yes, that's excellent. All the other students simply passed me by. I'm so glad that you came along. Honestly, some strange people joined the faculty, too. I'm about to collapse under all the stress. If we had someone like Yu-Yo here, the girl in charge of the infirmary and I would have it much easier. You mean Sakura. You mean Sakura. Oh, oops, you can see my cursor. Oops. No, that is that was inconsiderate of me. I never tried to co cohere you into joining the student council. Yes, you would. Here's the key to the storage room. See ya! Here's to another good day with no regrets. I uh, guess never has such ominous words been spoken. He he thanks me in an exaggerated manner and resumes his task of overseeing the main gate. He told me the public awards mayor's public morals awareness month doesn't start today, but here he is. The student council president is diligent as a fine tuned machine. Why do you should say that? Because he's a program. I say goodbye to Issei and head to the school building, squinting against the sunlight that didn't really feel like early summer or early spring. And so, you'll hear VT's day begin once again. System menu granted? Alright. Whoa, they've expanded the school building. I can't save. Oh wait, no I can. Fade extra CCC. Okay, option. We're gonna turn that down. Background voices are off. Game difficulty, sweet. Maniac, normal, sweet. Match your speed fast. No wait. Yeah, let's go. No wait, baby. All right. All right. What do we got here? Some students. No comments. Oh, sorry. It's nothing. I was just a little dizzy. I'm all right now. I feel like I'm not actually myself. There's no way that's. Oh boy. Archer Club is holding morning practice, so they're in the middle of cleanup. I can jump? 
Oh, I can jump. Let's go jumping. Jumpity, 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 jump. Jumpity, jumpity, jump. 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 All right, the only ones who have anything worthwhile to say are probably the people in black because they're shooting council. I left the volleyball club because I haven't examined this year. Now I've gained weight. Around here, you see, it's embarrassing for disciplinary, isn't it? But you're fat is what you're saying. School building. Whoa. Fox wife. Fox wife. No, pin. Open, open your eyes, my darling. If you keep falling, you won't ever get up again. Fox wife. Let's go. Huh? Pain suddenly rushes to my left hand, wondering why I checked the back of it. Give me that command seal. Hell yeah. Um, I wanted, a, I once, I once upon a time wanted to get a tattoo of that on my hand. I have learned my lesson, but I wanted to get a tattoo of that on my hand because that would be pretty epic. On my left hand, a bruise resembling a rune has appeared. I don't remember seeing it before. I wonder if I had hurt myself somewhere. Yeah, they're command seals. Um... Whoa, I just had to burn one. Oh shit, that's not good. So command seals are like these ultimate trump cards. Essentially, they do what's called forcing absolute obedience. So like if you told if you told a servant to go kick their ass, they would get a huge boost in power. They get an absolute monstrous boost in power. If you told one in uh, the original Face J Knight, Saber to tell to sh summon you her, like to come to you immediately because she wouldn't make it in time to save you, use a command seal and bam. It's no. What do you mean? What websites have I been? What do you mean? What websites have I been on? That's actual lore. That's actual lore. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about, Rayon. Or what are you guys joking about? The pain has subsided. Maybe it was a dizzy belt. I take a breath and pull myself together. It's just I had her. I feel like I heard an extremely familiar voice. Let me make sure it's not cool. cool. I'd hope we get Tom Moe because Fox Wife for life. Progress of time, 7%. You can check your next goal by pressing the start button, okay? Look up the... Look up... Lock up the storage room at the end of the first hallway. You know what? No, I want to do something else. I want to go talk to Sakura because I have a crush on her. Faculty office, teachers, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about them. I'm feeling pretty good, but I don't need to check it out in the infirmary. Bruh, I got a thing for Sakura. Why won't you let me go talk to her? No, the no, 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 no. They're called servants for a reason. There's the master who provides the support and this who provides support and the monitors to exist. The servants exist to uh, fight. Not about slavery. They're essentially okay. You get killed for calling them this, but they're essentially familiars that are like on steroids. I can't jump inside. I can only jump outside. Oh, nope, I can jump inside. Wait, what? In the previous game, this is where the arena, wa arena was that you had to go in in order to get the, uh... Okay, kind of like Pokemon, but they actually have free will. And you don't catch them. You, you're, get you're given one. This is the entrance. If I had to say what this door, gate, is used for... I have no clue. Issei said this was the supply room, so I figured this is a space for storing things, but no one's using it. Whatever the case, there's no reason for me to go inside. No, go inside, go inside, go inside. It's important that you go in there. That's where the that's where the arena is. That's where you're gonna get your servant again. I take the key out from my pocket. Better hurry up and lock it before I can so I can go to class. Oh? Did that sound come from inside just now? Since I was tacked with locking the door, I you can't just ignore it. I put my ear to the door and listen to what's happening inside like this. Whatevs, now it's time to chill. Sure, it's just me in here, but chilling means I get to munch on all the snacks. It's not. <sighs> okay, no, a servant can kill the master. That's just straight up possible if they wanted. But the servant, generally, unless they have the skill independent action, without a master to supply the mana, they'll disappear. Masters, masters give commands for tactics and supply mana, whereas servants generally, they can do their own thing if they want, but do the fighting. 
in order to kill other servants or other masters because the other way to the quickest way to win is to kill the other masters too much on all the snacks hmm isn't it great to be so confident without having to do anything i'm one of the real winners all the others are way too amazing like damn way too serious we way too, way too desperate i'll just leave that holy war to the pks i mean i should be fine here to hide out camping here until the winner gets called camping is my way to victory gene ko you're a genius you lol there's obviously someone in there i knock on the door and ask is someone in there No, they can't stop supplying mana. But the the way they can the way they can uh the way they do that though if they re if the servant's really acting up is they use command seal. Has that does force absolute obedience and to deny it wears away on their literal existence like within the, of their spirit. Huh? The suspicious sound continued about for a minute before settling down. I take a deep breath and knock on the door again, and announce my entrance, then open the door. Okay. Hmm, I wonder where... What the heck? First glance, it looks like a futon, but now it looks like it's not one of those mats used in PE. This here's the problem. Not that I really want to know any more than that. No, because the, the, okay, so there are masters that are tyrants, but those ones are the ones that usually get their ass kicked and are eliminated early on because they don't understand how to work with their servants. It takes trust and respect for between the master and servants to really have a, a good chance of winning any Holy Grail war. Without that, you're, you're, you're screwed. You can't trust your partner, then what the fuck is the point? Uh, come on, at least do a better job of hiding it. Then I could pretend nothing is wrong and leave it at that. Now I have no choice but to point it out. Oh no, being a servant is actually okay. The okay, so a servant is a is someone who died and left their hist a mark on history. King Arthur, um, Alexander the Great, you know those types. And the and the way um and they answer the call of the Grail, which is they can choose more or less. They get kind of chosen, and they can choose to answer it or not. If they answer the call of the Grail. They have it. What? Okay. In the original, they think they have a chance of getting the Holy Grail. You you you'd have to you'd have to play the the real source to get it. I'm not doing a very good job, but they're not entirely slaves because if you're if you're like an almost demigod powerful being, you're not willingly really serving a human for the most of the time. You're only doing it because you expect the prize of the Holy Grail in return. But the Holy Grail war is a scam, and like very people actually know, very few people actually know that. All right, now I have no choice but to point out. So I take a deep breath and... <gasps> hey, you! Get out already! No. Okay, it's a girl. I guess kind of that's one way of putting it. The girl grants wishes. Or so people think. Th th there's no one in here! I'm simply a talking rocker. No, I mean locker. Just just give me some metal, man. All I'm all about that heavy metal. Well, yeah, but they can manifest... Okay, depending on how it is, sometimes servants manifest not to get the uh, ruler class, for example. Don't manifest in order to get the grill. They manifest in order to uh, oversee the Holy Grail War. So they, they don't have a master. They don't need one. Someone's desperately trying to shut the door from the inside, but the door won't actually close. This person A doesn't really fit in the locker. Then let's close the door. We're just going to close it. So abiding by reverse psychology, why don't I help him inside? Hide, hide inside? I try to force the locker closed door with the entirety of my body weight. <laughs> what, what are you doing? There's no physical way. My organs, my organs are going to pop out. Oh, it's her. Ah, uh, if from inside the locker, I just bounced around. This flab is going to be the end of me. It's the girl who's considered more chubby. Uh, anyway, who the heck are you? Breaking into the sacred space of a girl's locker room and this, I feel kind of like reporting you ASAP. 
The incredibly suspicious person glares at me with furrowed eyebrows. I should be throwing out the questions first here, but I get the feeling that do so would just make things worse. First off, I told her my name in class, th and then threw out the questions. No matter how I look at it, she's not a student. Who is this woman? And where's this girl's locker room she spoke of? Hey, Thea, how's it going? How's it going? Just started. Um, things are kind of wonky right now. Uh, we've been thrown back into the school, despite, you know, not supposed to be in the school. And Tomo Namai, our, our fox wife, has um, disappeared. Fox wife for life. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jeff, on with that? Yeah, uh, I saw with a uh, snack in all of them, right? Everything you're seeing is a, is a girl's room. It hasn't been cleaned in about a month, so this just looks just a bit messy is all. Nice, nice. I, uh, I bought Lethal Company to play with Leg and uh, some others, but so far have not had a chance to play it. I don't know if I'll actually get a place to play, it, chance to play it, unfortunately, because no free time. <laughs> I want to die. I can't help that. There's no help. There's no helping her do it for me. It's pretty left, tough living in hiding. Living in hiding here. Oh, 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 crap! It's nothing. You, you have this dorky face, VT. So my tongue slipped for a bit. Um, I'm Jinko, Jinko Katarigi. Oh God, that's a name and a half. I'm just a substitute teacher here, and I guess this hard storm is... I guard this storm in my free time, I guess? So, so substitute teacher? This obvious slop of a woman is? Uh, can't well deny that I'm sloppy. It's too much trouble to look capable, so I choose to be more carefree. Yeah? Well, I'm an elite neat, so to speak. Okay, how the fuck are you an, a neat and a substitute teacher? How the fuck are you a neat and a substitute teacher? That's some bullshit. I see. So you do nothing and are useless, I take it. You're thinking of playing all neat. Those adorable little plebs, sure, but don't long be in with them. Ginoko is an elite, after all. Even made sure to be the club advisor. You know, the go home, straight home club. You know, friend, no friend society. She's an imposter murderer. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure she's, um, I think she's actually a master. So, I mean, okay, well, if she's a master killing her would be a good idea. Jinako puffs up her chest with uh, with an air of pride. Her breasts sway even under the hold of her strap. What? You you want to run that one back? The woman said she's a substitute teacher, a dubious tale. But I don't have the time for this right now, and it doesn't seem like she's a bad person. She's a terrible person. I decided to tell her that she's she's living in the storeroom. Then she's then to keep this key and lock the door. Oh, hells yeah! Storeroom key obtained! Now I have something I really wanted! Now I can be even more secluded! Probably home economics. <laughs> I had a home economics teacher once, uh, in 6th grade I took home ec, and Jesus fuck, this teacher wanted to do nothing but cook with Velveeta. That's all it was. Is she cooked with vel nasty ass old Velveeta cheese, and it was awful. Okay, you can go ahead and run along now, Jinko. Oh, you can run go ahead and run along now. Jinko has to get on with her regularly scheduled patrol of the forms. Go ahead already, she said as she showed me the front door. It's almost time for her room. I know to hurry up and leave without being told to. Hey, hey, hey wait a second! I, I I know I told you to leave, but I didn't expect you to actually just go in. You're a candid one, VT. Or is it really my place? Is it? Do look weird? Is it dirty? Does it reek of a loser? Do you just not want to associate with me? Let me ask, am I weird? Yup, you're weird. <gasps> oh! I, get, I gave her a clear cunt's answer. It wouldn't help anyone to mince words. <laughs> Only weirdos call the people with the word. I'll have you know I'm a pro. I'm not rude, I just lack delicacy. Since you're mean to me, give me the ice sword. You give me, oh, since you give me the ice sword, I mean the storeroom key I've been looking for. I thought you were a decent person. Enough already, get out. I knew I shouldn't have expected anything from a normie. Thea, do not like her. She's a terrible example of how to live. Somehow, I've been running out of the storeroom. I hear a click from the keys locking the door. It seems that it's been tightly shut from the inside. Gina Kokiragiri. As I leave the storeroom, I think to myself, how odd is this? Have there always been participants like that? Wait, participants? Whoa, we're talking about the Holy Grail War now. Let's go. 
Hey, wait, I used a pretty weird phrase just now. I wonder if I'm still half asleep. I feel more restless this morning than I have ever been. It might be a fever, so I should probably head home after school. All right, homeroom. Hey, there should have been someone here. You can wash your hands here. It's odd, but it really... Okay, so you can wash your hands in the hallway. That's kind of random. Head to classroom 2A. I will. I'm gonna fucking win. Alright, I really do hope we get to see the BB channel because I love me some BB. She's chaotic, crazy, evil, and very hot. I just go to the stairs leading to the second floor. Then I suddenly hear a voice overhead. It sounds like, say, frantic footsteps of a woman who just slipped. Taiga! <gasps> It's Lou Nun! It's Lou Nun! Ara, 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 ara. That's what she said. Sounds like nothing. Someone's falling down on me right now. I don't like her. I hate her. Hey, Chris, I'm supposed to be voice acting this all, you jerk knob. You jerk knob. I'm supposed to be voice acting all this. With a sudden crash, uh, I fall on my back in the hallway. I hit the back of my head on the hard floor. My brain shakes and my eyes spin. What on earth just happened? Oh, you have no idea how bad she is. You have no fucking idea how bad she is. I know her attack, and I'm probably going to have to censor it or something. It's called Heaven's Hole, and it's, um... Heaven's Hole is, um, she gets herself off using the earth. And that's all I'll say. Setting aside from Blur Vision, let me see what's going on here. little hand, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know where you're touching the woman right now? I'm a woman too. Sure enough, my fingers were grasp weren't grasping the side. They've almost dissolved into a great mass. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea how bad Heaven's Hole is. <laughs> Not so. You're, you're almost tearing me. It, it's so embarrassing. I have, I have no strength to resist. His impact is incredible. Well, I mean, technically. Okay, so fun fact, my character's a lesbian in this. So, I mean, it works out. Hi, Sumi. You, you we're getting to meet Lude Nun. It's like my hand is melting. I squeeze the juicy flesh and it springs back. And yet my fingertips are supporting your weight. Won't let go of her clothes. Rather, it's as if they're glued and being consumed. This is such a ridiculous, uh, pl plenty of volume, reminiscence of, of the bount bountiful pl plots of the earth. Please forgive me. We're, 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 we're causing such a scene in a public place. I <coughs> I can't do this. We're going to have a fucking field day. This, the, uh, yeah, I, Twitch will be fine with this. This is fine. Okay, that's the line. But but who could admonish such a soul, wanting like an infant mewling for milk? I'm beginning to see why this game was not localized. Uh, not just your finger, but with with your lips too. The term is born with the term is born within my mind, which I coined magnificent meat. I'm so glad you guys enjoy, because this is... I don't know what to feel about this. 
A carnivore is set off by the sight of fresh meat because its five senses tell the meat is delicious. Similar to how that works, there supposedly exists a meat that energizes the five cents with merely its beauty. I mean, I think my character is just letting it happen at this point. But how come, to think of it, why am I suffocating like this? <laughs> what the fuck? My, this is the first time I've... I I've had it so rough. Do you have some deep resentment towards my breasts? I'm killing myself. Stream over, killing myself. You're like an insatiable black void. No, like a fish gasping for breath. <gasps> Gasping for breath? Please get off me. I'm not having fun in the slightest. I hate every bit of this, but I said I'd voice act. I said I'd voice act, so... Uh, I'm sorry this was my fault. I had no idea that my chest was stopping you from breathing. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'll get off you right now. <gasps> My character sprang a short circuiting. Loot none, Jax. Chris, we talked about her ultimate attack. You have no idea how bad it is. Oh, you hit your head again. This was... My fault again, wasn't it? A real-time action of a vampire? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Are, are you there? Oh, what should I do? There's no response. Home will begin shortly, but I just keep causing problems. Uh, what the heck am I doing here? All I remember is that something incredible fell on me, and I came to my senses after I hit the back of my head. Uh, when I pulled myself together and looked up, there was the face of an unfamiliar woman before me. Why are we zooming on that leg slit? Uh Hisumi, have you found your next art inspiration? <laughs> Damn, Thea be like, Thea barking here. Thea Sumi barking over here. <laughs> woof, woof, woof. Oh, thank goodness, you're okay. Oh, I'm so relieved. If you're still alive, then I can properly apologize to you. But I don't really have much time right now. Oh, you're a cute little student. May I have your name? Yeah, I'm 17, I think, in this game. She, she, she's way too close. If I lean down, if she leans down on me that sensually, there's no way I can think normal. She leans down on me on what? Oh, man, my cursor is. Oops. Anyways, I managed to tell everyone my name. That's an excellent question. Why are you talking about that? Yo, hair VT, was it? <laughs> Just like a little lovely little flower. What a wonderful name. Why, thank you. A Star Wars MMO chose it, and VT is my last name in this because I'm a VTuber. Very clever name. I'll be sure to thank you later. I need to prepare for class, so please go. Excuse me for going on ahead. You need to. Uh, how about you just never touch me? Holy shit, look at that chest. Holy shit, that's got more blushing powder than Yuri. It's like a whole bazillion inches outside of her. What the shit? Well, see you later then. I look forward to working with you, okay, lovely, lovely little master? Ah, she knows. Master? What's that? I wanted to ask about it, but then the woman is gone. All that's left was a lingering light, uh, a light lingering sense. 
like a kindled uh, Homa? Homa? What the fuck is a Homa bonfire? Actually, that woman's scent is all that's left over my uniform. Yeah, I've been through some outrageous things this morning. If a classmate saw what happened just now, just now. Oh no, it's Leo! Fuck this kid. Okay, so that's Leo Haraway. He's essentially the the son of a plutocratic family that rules Europe. Also, the entire Earth is like basically in a resource shortage and humanity is dying. Someone actually saw me. The one in the red school uniform is glaring at me like I'm human garbage. It's my classmate who recently transferred in, Leo. Leo seems to have seen the entire thing from the top of the stairs. <laughs> hey, I said as I waved at him. Good morning, Miss BT. You are sure unrestrained this morning. Fuck you, I didn't want any of that to happen to me. I'm not into lewd none. So said Leo with an angelic smile as he went to on ahead to class 2A. My voice is already dying. Good morning, yo here. If you love around this much, you'll end up being late. Huh? Why would that worry me? Because we're both in 2A, aren't we? Oh boy. Cam camera controls are fucking killing me. That goes down to the school cafeteria. I did not want any of that to happen. I'm not into her. I don't like her. All right. All right, let's see what we got, Tyga. Progression of time, 18%. All right. I've entered, I entered classroom 2A. I've had quite the morning and all before homework started. I took my seat and started to relax. My friend Shinji, fuck Shinji, Mauto came over to talk to me. Also, in this, Shinji's eight years old and he's hacked into the, he's hacked into the computer, but he's like eight years old. Yeah. Hey, Abt, what's wrong? You're cutting it pretty close this morning. Diligence is your only redeeming quality. Oh, let me guess, you hooked on Peace Journal? Come on, get off that. This is no place for plebs like you. What it is is a place for chosen players. Yeah, Shinji is disgusting. Fuck him. The original Shinji Mauto is a very bad, bad human being. No, 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 no. Even Gilgillian Shinji from the original visual novel does non-consensual things to his sister. When she was eight. Oh, Thea, you knew that one? You, you knew about this? That's pretty, that's pretty awesome that you knew about that, actually, Thea. Yeah, it should... Yeah, it should only be for the place of the handful of game champs, so to speak, and mind the game flowers. Get it? It was a bastion for the gifted. For me, world rank number two with a current score, battle score of 78 million. Shinji Mauto, as you can see, he's like if you put an overly self-conscious elite and spotlight high under into a blender and mix it into one. Sakura, yeah, I am a Sakura simp to the day I die. I simp for Sakura, I simp for Sakura faces like BB. I've just, it's just what I, and Kama, but Kama is a different type of character. If you ask me how, Thea, my opinion of you went up like by a bazillion million percent. If you ask me how we've still managed to be friends after so many years, here's how I would answer you. Shinji may have personality issues, but his skills in, his, in school and gaming measure up to his big mouth. If only he could read the mood, then people would really worship him. Implying you're not chronically on, online right now. God damn it, my water keeps not getting knocked over. Implying you're not chronically online right now. Is what the consensus of all the girls seem to be in school. That's a good way to put it, Rehan. Also, Peace Journal that Shinji mentioned is a massive European bulletin board system, PJ for short. It's not a place where typical sharing of information, but a haunt of deeper, self-proclaimed experts. A oh, hole, always hacking slashing across the net, huh, Shinji? Heh. <laughs> Fuck you, Leo. 
Huh? Did you just laugh at me? Sounds like you got something to say, Leah. Back up here complaining with a score. Oh, I just really saw some hack and slash from someone in person. Class society surely is cruel. I'll have to do some reassessment. Leo, Leo directly directs a casual smile over to me. He's referencing the incident by down from the stairs earlier. Yeah, soccer's in this, or at least BB. Thea, do you? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do a thing real fast. We're just gonna do a thing real fast. I'll probably get in trouble for this, but actually, no, I won't if I show that image. We're gonna we're gonna show. I'm gonna show you something. Okay, I have to do image. No, I'm not gonna sh do the. Oh no, it's image. Source, browse. Okay, let's see. Okay, there you go. You should be able to see it now. That is BB. She is incredibly evil, incredibly hot, and I love her. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a thing real quick. We're gonna, we're just gonna casually take uh, BB. We're gonna put her here. Uh, we're gonna, fuck, I'll put her under, under commands. Just like right about there. That's fine. I mean, she's 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 from this, and then you might have seen her in uh, Fate uh, Fate Go. Just gonna let BB be there. Her 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 ba massive assets. Oh, BB will kill you and then laugh about it. Leo directs. Oh yeah. Oh, oh gotta be up here. Leo Baris Barista Harway, the boy who recently transferred to school, heir to a certain famous proxy and a child who skipped grades. At first, I was kind of scared how different we were in his upbringing, but now we, we just casually talk like this. I think the three of us went through a major shared experience together, and that's why we understand each other. But what was it? Oh, well, if I can't remember, then it must not have been a, much of a big deal. By the way, Shinji, have you heard the rumor uh, that came up on PGA, the Holy Grail War or something? There we go. Yeah, I have. Compete now, ye wizards. The Holy Grail shall get the final victor any wish they desire. I'd say it's a pretty sketchy claim, but we don't we don't even know who's running it. We don't even know how to participate. Stinks to high heaven, doesn't it? Uh, and the moderator just left it too. What a ridiculous story. Holy Grail War? Where have I heard that before? But it's quite intriguing, isn't it? Grant any wish they said? For instance, yo here, what would you wish for? A wish? Even if you ask, I can't think of one off the top of my head. There are a lot of things I want, but they're all things I can get if I work hard enough. Oops, there are all things I... When they say any wish, I feel like the nuance of being something you can never get on your own. Fuck yeah, Thea. Fuck yeah. I can't really think of any huge wish I have right now. Is that so? That's just like you, you here. How about you, Leo? Is there any wish that would surprise anyone? Of course, I transferred to Suko here for that purpose. Oh... That's strange. I transferred here due to my father's circumstances. Isn't that right? That's right, I answer. Leo and his older brother both transferred to Tsukuhimura about half a year ago. Though I don't remember when I heard it, the fact has definitely been recorded. I suppose so. It seems I was mistaken. Oh, we should get my, ask my brother Julius next. Oh, we should ask my brother Julius next. I'm sure that my older brother would have an intriguing wish. Julius is fucking evil. Hey, uh, why do you start talking about your gloomy old, older brother? Since we've been going around asking what wish we have, it's natural the next person to ask is me. Julius is, Le Julius is Leo's older brother. Julius does all the driving for Leo around school and is kind of like a butler. The entire student body goes craver, crazy over the sight of him rolling up in the main gate in his Roy's Roy Royce luxury car. Uh, hey, are either you listening to me? I'm reigning Supreme Game Champion in all of Asia. Shouldn't you be more amazed by this? Say that after you're number one, you fucking loser. Ugh, damn, BT. You know what it is, where it is, turned to. European champion number one in total score. Is it true? It's true that I'm number one, two right now. But just you wait. I'm the next champion. I'll definitely beat them. Shut up. 
Shut up. It, this is this is just the uh, opening stuff. I promise you this will probably pick up when we get to hear BB channel. You have no idea. This is this is essentially just a visual novel in some ways. They're nothing but a scrub. All they got is massive playtime. One of those addictive cheaters that they're known. When it comes to pure technique, judgment, inspiration, I win by a landslide. I'm sure you do. I'll show you VT Leo. Next week it'll I'll oust Gene Code Zero and become the number one player for sure. Wait. Isn't that the person we just talked to? It's true that in the next campaign you'll have the biggest advantage, Shinji. I wish you luck. Let's have a celebration when you reach number one. You bet. Did you hear that, VT? Next week we're having a festival for Shinji, King Shinji, uh, at Leo's place. Look forward to it then. Well, okay, this is all new. This is all new. If I, if, uh... This is new. They haven't explained really a whole lot. Meanwhile, we're talking idly. The home bell rang. The teacher in charge of her class is a noisy one. Taiga! As a matter of fact, as soon as the bell wins, you can hear what's sound like a wild animal stomping in from the hallway. Stomping in or not? Oh. I'd hope for Taiga, not this creature. The entire class gasped from this unexpected development. The classroom goes dead si- Oops. Fuck. I didn't know Start did that. Okay, uh, we've never seen, but the school was uh, ne dressed as a Buddhist nun. She must be in her twenties, with a gentle gaze and graceful, st and graceful stance. Uh, in spite of her, nerves, everyone is shocked by the woman's presence. Without a word, her eyes follow her. As she heads to the head of the lectern. My situation was different in a ways. Uh, I had to be cut because of an expected encounter with this woman earlier. In other words, I've already felt her up, so I'm not really shocked by her. Uh. Okay, breathe. We've been at this for an hour. I can keep going. I'm sorry for taking you all by... I'm sorry for taking you all by... Su you know what? No, she's got a deeper voice. I'm sorry for taking you all by surprise this morning. I'm sure you're all very confused. I should introduce myself now, shouldn't I? The Buddhist... The Buddhist not acknowledges the entire class of the world with calm, or rather with cheer. Then with a graceful motion, she bows. Her movements were as fluid as the wind and conveyed straight away how earnest she was. Fucking bullshit. You are not Taiga. You are not Taiga, you fucking liar. Taiga is cool, you are not. My name is Taiga Fujima. I will be teaching at this school from now on. To, from today onward. It would be my honor to do so from now on. Shinji just fucking popped a boner. Shinji always starts the con starts with a contrarian statement, but this time he's immediately turned to jelly. I guess Shinji has a soft spot for mature women. Who doesn't? Okay, okay. Aside from her, real talk here. If you're not into like a more mature, older woman, what the fuck is wrong with you? High school me would have never said that. Yeah, I know, right? She's not fucking Taiga. Okay. The, uh, did you play the original Face Day Night? You're sounding like you have, and I like that. Be like, like you would now become my one of my favorite people, very favorite people in the world. I mean, you kind of already were, but like that would be like so awesome. Regardless, it's no surprise that even Shinji would get entranced. Everything about this nun's Miss Fujina's experience exudes purity. Exudes purity. Fuck no, she's not. I guess even one could even call her appearance affectionate. That voice, that posture, those eyes, that smile, all of them saying that she, just that she means well. But... I looked like I tried to download it two years. I can help you out with that, actually. I can help you out with that. It's kind of a bitch to set up, but I can help you out. Um, it's not entirely for the faint of heart, but you already kind of know what happens for some of it, so... But still... You're the first person I met, except from like a very small few, like Glitchy, who have actually played the entire thing, uh, like have actually know anything about the like the original work. There's a strange feeling of discomfort that nips me at the back of my neck. Are you sure you're not talking about the the nips that were on your face? I felt like the name Taiga Fujina calls forth a different image to mind. Oh, is that you here sitting in the back? Your magic hands? 
What the? I awkwardly greeted her product, partly surely because her eyes just met. Then she gave me the greatest smile, or that one that would melt uh, whoever saw it. See, I already forgot what I said. Imagine a teacher calling you up for feeling them up. Accidentally. Even if it's accidental, imagine a teacher calling you up for feeling them up. What the fuck? What a stroke of luck. This is... Thank you so much for earlier. I haven't for forget that heated embrace of yours. Why are you shielding a march on me? How do you already know Miss Taiga? And what's that embrace thing you did earlier? It means when lovers hold each other, right? But that's too, um, that's too assertive. Almost feral... Uh, Behavior for a student to be having. Lovers? Well, what are you doing, VT? It's not cool to go for a teacher, you know? Even in manga, they are always saying so. Okay. Okay. So, Shinji. I read certain manga that says go for the teacher. I So, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. You need to read, start, start reading cultural stuff. With the critical damage from Leo's road, the entire classroom turns into a melting pot of gossip. There was the girls with sparkling eyes from the gossip. They were even envious of the fussing boy. Shinji resentfully cursed me under his breath. What do you mean, Thea? What's wrong? What's wrong, Thea? I don't know what you're talking about. I said nothing. You have no clips to prove it. I watched Moose Fuber before me. There's Shen uh, warmly waving at me. I scrunch my brows and sigh. <sighs> Looks like the ordinary days have gone through some big changes. Just give me my servant already, damn it! Oh my god, I'm only 25% of the way through the tutorial. Okay. Let's go home. Oh hey, Rainy! She helped us out. She's a she's a homoculi. Good day. You finally woken up over here. You're seven months, two, eight hours, and two minutes late. Should I be underestimating you, or was I overestimating you? I grasped, not expecting what I saw. This girl struck up a conversation suddenly. Without batting an eye, she started going on about me with a jarring way of speaking. So it's been that long since between the previous game and this? To put it simply, she was an exotic girl. Her skin was, her skin was brown, and she's exotic. I feel like there's a bit of a bad undertone there. Her slender... I don't want just just post that in the clips and the and the edits. I should name that clips clips as well. Uh, white coat. She had a sense of cleanliness to it. Her slender, straight silhouette had felt androgynous. Still, superhero would be lacked with dress code. But even but does her outfit pass as uniform? Like she did she forget to equip a few things? Are you listening to me? You'll hear BT. I may be calm of. Maybe of calm emotions, undulations, what's that word? But this exceeds my limit. And the time limit it has taken, I have, I have found and examined and processed one of Samuel Beckett's plays. I am currently only concerned for your health. Uh, disappointed in both present circumstances and with you suddenly here, I am furious. So can you give a guess as to what state I'm in right now? Alright, to put it plainly, she is very angry. But this is pretty unusual. As far as I know, girls never complain so much before. I've known her a relatively long time, so I know these facts for certain. Her name is Rennie the Eighth. She she was invited as a to the academy as an authority on electrical engineering. She's one of the very elite. She grew up in a laboratory, so her normal to her a normal school life or making friends for that matter was new to her. I became friends with her when that's right when I got injured in the forest. She helped me with her knowledge. Even though Randy has a blunt personality, once one gets to know her, she is a righteous, morally upstanding girl. That said, here's the very same Ang Rennie, and she's quite angry with me. Why are you so upset? I asked when I asked that. Why is because your hair is your hair is always. <laughs> Please excuse me. The reason is obvious. You didn't make it on time. Definitely, that's the most appropriate reason for my current outrage. Rennie said so quite decisively. I didn't want to say this, uh, but I have to. I tell Rainy I have no clue why she's angry. Shut it! Sh sh shut it? 
I will say it again. I am furious. Schedules must be followed. You must improve yourself. No. You absolutely must improve yourself. This is the optimal, finest, and best solution. If one is not serious, then, then be serious. If one lacks in integrity, then have integrity. If something demands attention, manage it. How artistic! God dwells on such a simple formula. Oh, Professor, I finally understand it now. Please excuse me. I recall I have business to attend to. Well then, I bid you good day. I look forward till next we meet. Well, that was a mouthful. As if nothing happened, Granny's hair waves as she, she walked past along the way. Incident the name of the play Waiting for God Out. Do you know of it? Whoa, whoa! I become dizzy. Maybe it's the sunny sun in my eyes. Come to think of it, I feel like I was talking to someone just now. I must be just my imagination. Probably just my imagination. As my head starts to clear up, a figure, familiar figure comes into view. Oh, God damn it! How is he coming into view if he's from behind you? Oh, you're still here? You're not even in a, cl in a club. You must have a lot of free time on your hands. Is wasting your life that fun? What about my voices? I hope it's the same one for Ronnie, but I'm using my girl voice for my, the main character. Also, I love that my head trips out when I drink a water. Ah. Shinji, Shinji is sarcastic as usual, but this time I spent, uh, I sensed more sting in his tone. So I start by asking if something with, is bothering him. Um, no, when, she, she, when she's referring to a professor, she's referring to the person who actually created her. Thea, Thea, you probably might be able to fix her, but like, is it worth it? What do you mean? As you can see, I'm nothing. I'm the same as always. More importantly, you know Rin Worst Girl, don't you? I thought of, I thought of her as a woman the same caliber as me, but she's not really all cracked up to be. I'm going to call Rin Rin Worst Girl because holy shit, I don't like Rin. Her design ain't bad, but oh my god, she's insufferable. I mean, in this one she's better, but like the original Rin is insufferable. Sounds like he found some trouble with Rin Worst Girl. Last time she, he was harshly rejected, yet Shinji stubbornly was trying to bother her again. Last time? Was Shinji the kind of person to keep making passes at someone who, who rejected him? But I'm sure we've had this conversation before. Why the hell are you spacing out? Uh, don't tell me you're waiting for, for Tosaka. Do as you like with that, with that violent woman. She's probably still in the courtyard. I'm not coming with you. Listen, it's Sakura, Saber, Rin. That's the original order of best. And then maybe Taiga somewhere uh, in between Rin and Sakura. R Rin and Saber. Shinji, Shinji disappeared into the classroom, probably to pick up his bag and go home. I don't have anything to do at school anymore. I'd be fine leaving now. That's how it should have been, but why is the sense of ease on going away? Before I visit, uh, before I go back, I want to visit the garden a bit. I might be able to consult her. Okay, we're gonna save. Yo, VT, female yo. Okay, you'll hear, okay. Okay, her design is nice, but holy shit, I cannot deal with Sundari's. Well, you're cute. You have pink hair. A girl is a newspaper chief. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Newspaper chief is, okay. They actually had something to say last time. Look who's here, VT, the newspaper club. Got any leads? Okay. Last time you'll be like, blam, all those seven mysteries taken out. What do you mean last time? Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, let's go into the infirmary and talk to Sakura instead. No sign of anyone in the infirmary. Oh no, Sakura's gone. All of a sudden, my feet stopped. It's not like I tripped or anything, or someone called out and stopped me. I really just stopped for no reason at all. No. Rather than why I stopped, it's more like I was calling why I came here. Pain rushes to my left hand. When I held up to see you, it was there. My command seal. Wait, don't take another one. Don't take another one. I need those. I need those. Do not take those away. My mind. My mind. My consciousness is coming apart. What is this? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. There's no headache. There's no pain. In fact, it feels more like a peaceful rest. If I fall asleep like this, how wonderful would that be? 
but I'm scared. There's no pain, but a fissure runs through me. It's not disconnect in my disconnected mind, but my beating heart just seems to be calling out this abnormality. Uh, is there even an end to this? Uh, I won't let up, Master. I'll be there. Dear Caster is coming for as fast as I can. Well, crap. The vertigo subsided about me in about two seconds. As I, as I swing my head, I put my hand to my chest and check my heartbeat. It was beating so intensely, a vague anxiety gouging at my chest, so much to the point that my heart couldn't stop. You shouldn't be here. A conviction shoots through my entire spine to the brain. Normally, strangely, the usual me would have sprinted out of the school building by now, but... Dear Caster is coming for you as fast as I can. Uh, right now, the anxiety that I felt uh, is more important to me, but the voice of someone I shouldn't ever forget. I have to remember them. Even if this world is a world I shouldn't be in, a hell that I should run away from as fast as I can. But before that, it feels like I need to at least recover the name of the voice owner's uh, voice's owner on my own. Oh my god, this tutorial is so long. Okay, we're gonna go see Tokusa at the garden anyway. Hi there, Rin. Hey there, VT! Don't just walk up to me so casually! How many times have I told you? You can't do that to me like we're friends! This is just the opening. She started yelling at me. She started yelling at me before I even opened my mouth. Though the pressure, I through the pressure, I take a second and I glance at her. To put it simply, she was a flashy girl. She had neat black leather boots and clothes that really showed off her body line. What the fuck does her, what the fuck does her body lines mean? Gave an overall apprenticeship tightness. Still, Sukuhime may be relaxed with a dress code, but is there even an outfit passes uniform? I don't know why that face looks like that. Looks normal, looks normal to me. What, you're staring at me like I'm usual? It hasn't been that long, you know? We just had lunch yesterday, too. Well, you've always been this rude, though. Even when we first met, staring at my face with, Hey, are you checking out my legs? No. You've got no shame program in your head. I'm saying don't look, but if you will, you better cough up some money. Money! The girl seems to be on the verge of grabbing my force. Even though she's feeling embarrassed, she's about to resort to violence. I don't panic, because I've known her better than that. Her name is Ren Tosaka. She's one of the most popular girls in school, and the highest rank scoring honor students. When she's quiet, she seems like she's a refined lady, but that's fruit by her headstrong and unrestrained personality, coming off as a twin boy when she opens her mouth. No, in my case, I should say it's a blessing. I don't care no how many times her activeness and positivity has helped me. You know, I said you were getting too close. Bottom line is VT and I are enemies. It'll only be trouble if we get too familiar. Give me a break. Sure, we briefly fought side by side, but that's no reason to be trusting. Enemies fighting together? Rin used an interesting choice of words. Our test scores aren't comparable and we don't have any club activities to compete over. So there's nothing to fight over. Anyway, this isn't the time for the show to start. I've got my hands full myself, so I'll let you off the hook with this little chat. Uh, see ya, if it would have it, let's meet again. Actually, you better keep winning until we meet again. I'm holding you to it. <sighs> okay. I need to be your back. I need to be your back. <sighs> Whew. Okay, why are we banning Renhan? Okay. Rin's, in her usual manner, Rin's hair swayed as she walked past along the way. Hmm? Why am I even picking a fight with her? She said as she tilted her head. I've become dizzy. Maybe it's the setting sun in my eyes. Come to think of it, I feel like I was talking to someone just now. It must be my imagination. Probably just my imagination. I must be really tired as all. Well. Pardon. My head starts to clear up. I should head to the shoe lockers for now. My dear God. 
Can we get to t Fox Wife, please? Need Fox Wife. I am not schizophrenic. That is rude. It's the end of the day. The school building has died in the colors of sunset. There are students at the entrance heading home. Laughter and chit chat fills the air. The usual scene, the usual life. I'm also about to visit my Sue locker and leave. I'm not schizophrenic. My character's not schizophrenic. Um. <gasps> Sakura! Oh, and she has long. She has super long hair in this set. In this, yes. In the shadow, in the shadows of twilight, there's a single girl collapsed on the floor in pain. I wonder who is that. Soccer with her lab coat and long hair. Her breath is worn. Her cheeks are flushed. She's clearly sick, and yet no one seems to notice. The scene is not normal. I'm starting to doubt my sanity. No, the sanity of the people around me. There's no way every single person could ignore this. There hasn't been so much as a single person who's glanced at the girl in the white coat. I should... Help her. Duh. In any case, I had to do something as soon as possible. I lit up the suffering girl and... What are they doing to my Sakura? What are they doing to Sakura? Well, this isn't troubling. I know this isn't the time, but I'm getting nervous. The sweat uh, of adorning her white skin is so captivating that any guy, no, even girls, acknowledging that my character is bi, well, probably mostly a lesbian, but yeah. Thea, she's sick. She, Thea, she's sick. And, okay, when she wakes up. Okay, gotcha. There you go. There you go. We find themselves unable to look away. It's a little rude, but she reminds me of a sugar candy. That's weird. The girl's body is sweet, soft, and fragile after the touch. Ah, she's warm as if she's a real living being. <sighs> you can see me? I'm seeing her and holding her. That's why I'm able to help her up. She may be have a terrible fever. Uh... It's so bad that I can't, she's not really present, and I can't tell what's going on. Or she can't. Um, freshman year, Sakura Mounto, in charge of the infirmary, jurisdiction, health management? Um, senpai, what is your name? That's not really something I have an answer for. I'm not in any committees, so I respond with my name and classroom. Well, you're, you're an ordinary student? N not even the student council members noticed me, but you did? With labored breath, Sakura looks up at me. Poor thing, no one offered any help. That must hurt physically and emotionally. You're safe now. I lend her my shoulder and mash my words. <laughs> That's all it took for this girl who's calling herself soccer to stare back at me with her eyes wide open. It seems she has trouble breathing. Lebanon's. <laughs> You're fun, Thea. It's like blankness. The instant you watch a miracle unfold. Senpai. VT Senpai, would it be alright if we talked a little longer? Answering her with a nod, I pick up the freshman girl, Sakura. Luckily, the infirmary is right around the corner. I should get her to a bed first. Or is it fast? I'm ready to bed first. Okay, I can read. Well, that can't be healthy. Whoa. Time to speed. You need a girl to take you to the infirmary, Thea? And lay you on a bed? Is that what you're saying? S 
Suddenly I wake up. It seems as if I dozed off while watching her. The infirmary seems to have that effect on people. The air serenity falls in the infirmary. The bustle of school is far off from here. Sakura is sleeping in the bed. The nurse uh, in charge is out. I look after her, so I looked after her despite my inexperience in caring after people. To be honest, all I could really do was put her on the bed and wipe the sweat from her forehead. Base as fuck, Thea. Base as fuck. I don't want a girl to I can carry. I want a girl to carry me. Like the bottom that I am. <laughs> Long breaths exhale from Sakura's lips. It would appear she's just woken up. Thank goodness. It's been a long time since since then. Her fever seems to be gone down too, so I don't have to worry. Y'all are making way too many clips. I was looking over the bed in relief. Recently woken Sakura opened her eyes. When I greeted her, she gave me a soft but happy looking smile in return. Senpai. Senpai. Thank goodness, it wasn't a dream after all. Sakura lets out a long sigh in relief as she looks over at me with a dazzling face. She's filled with such heartfelt gratitude, all I did was look after her, so honestly, I'm a little bit embarrassed. I set those ceilings aside of mine, can I hide this text screen? Uh, and spoke. How are you feeling? I don't think her fever's gone just yet. I put my hand on Sakura's forehead to check her temperature. Damn, she has some long hair. That is awesome. Me and when I like girls with long hair. Uh, uh, it's okay. If anything, my fever, uh, it'll make my fever even worse if you... Man, she's like, if you touch me, my body heat, if you touch my head or anywhere, my body heat goes up and I feel all warm inside. It's Sakura's insistence. I move my hand away. She's right, I realize. Checking someone's temperature by touching their forehead is something an elementary school would do. It's pretty childish, so no wonder she wouldn't like it. Oh, um, I still have a slight headache, but I do feel better now. Th it's thanks to you, Yohir. Not only did you save me, you even stayed to look after me. Thank you so very much. Sakura smiles gently, giving me a slight bow. What's with this feeling? Receiving a smile is common, everyday thing, but I feel kind of uncomfortable or embarrassed. You make her blush so hard she fucking dies. Damn, that's some long ass hair for a librarian. Pure and honest gratitude seems to be really warm one's heart. I set aside how I moved I am and speak to Sakura. Well, why did you collapse, you ask? That's not something I understand myself. The atmosphere of the school felt different. It seems like the hallways were spinning. I remember feeling dizzy by the entrance. Would you know the rest, Senpai? Even I was calling out to other students, they didn't notice. I was seriously thinking to myself, Ah, I'm going to be left here, completely helpless. It was at that moment I heard Senpai's voice call out to me. So that's how it was. I was curious why everyone ignored Sakura, but to be honest, I don't think it helped, no matter how hard I think about it right now. Anyways, I answered back the one important thing that the important thing is she's fine now. Yes, you're here. No, Senpai. This thanks to you. As you can see, at least in spirit, I'm feeling much better now. Now, um, may I ask something as well? Has anything out of the ordinary happened? I can't say much has really changed. Same old life, same old school, same old classmates. The teacher tripped uh, by the lecture and, whoa, that did not happen. Uh, as after class, I talked to my friends in the cafeteria. Yep, nothing out of the ordinary. Not, not one new thing happened. That's the kind of place this is supposed to be. Is that right? <laughs> Miss Fujima is the jealous one. I'm kind of a jealous of how energetic she is. Sakura seems to be having fun with this ordinary conversation. I wouldn't think much of these boring events, but she's really interested. There's, the spark in her eyes seems to be longing for it. I wonder if that's why. The one who is listening is enjoying. If the one who's listening himself is enjoying themselves, you will too. When I talk about whatever comes to mind with Sakura, I'm left in a really different impression about them. I'm kind of happy. At our school, the people here can treat themselves even if they're injured. As someone who's in charge of their health, there's not much to do and nothing normally changes. This is pretty lonely, isn't it? I've only realized just now. And yet, Senpai managed to notice me. That's right. 
Nothing is out of the ordinary. This shouldn't have happened. So what's what happened with, by the entrance? Why did all the students ignore Sakura? Well, it's a thing of the past now. I'll just enjoy my conversation with her. The conversation in the infirmary kept going. It wasn't long before the last bleep bell to leave school rang. Oh, it's time, isn't it? I apologize for keeping you so long. Be careful when you go home, senpai. Sakura then showed me out the infirmary. As I was leaving, when I turned to look at Sakura one last time, she saw me out of the room as looking on the verge of tears, not wanting us to part ways. Aww. That's sad. There we go. Let's fucking go. We're gonna get our servant. Oh, we better get our servant. Alright, let's see if I can talk to her. Oops. While I am worried about soccer is doing, I should let her get some rest. I think I should go home for the day. There we go. Oops. There we go. Yet again, I feel pain rushing to my left hand. There's a strange bruise on the back of it. Um, all of my command spells are gone. That's lovely. Am I worried about the bruise of... Uh, the bruise because of my headache, or do I have a headache because of the bruise? I have no idea. Yeah, before I go home, before the morning comes, I should have someone take a look at this. Leo would be fine. Ren or Renji would be fine. I wouldn't even mind Shinji. Anyways, I should show this command seal to someone. I'm sure that... I know what a command seal is, finally. Time limit has been reached. Attention all intelligent beings with still within the school grounds. Please, we regretfully inform you. There's been a breakdown in how you all have been perceiving this world. There's a, this is a collapse in value due to inflation. This hologram war has been sold off and all of you along with it. You all have no value. Fuck you mean I've got no value. Well, well what was this announcement just now? More importantly, what's with this bizarre transformation? Ah, help me. Oh, someone's getting deleted. Everyone's being stabbed, breaking, melting. Everyone is being processed, killed. Bye, bitch. Oh, that can't be good. That can't be good. Those things are never good. Well, what the hell is happening? Feeling the danger, I looked outside. It was dark as if I was staring into a hole. Forget the entrance... The window after window has been covered by that black noise. Well, that can't be good. Yeah, that's just never good in, when in fate. I'm, I'm going to have to run for it. It wouldn't be good to get touched by that black noise. It's engulfed the entrance and the windows. The only way left is up. Yeah, I'm just going to casually go up. Oh, that's, um, when, when your school is flooding with black goo. Ow, what is this? What is happening? Ryder, Ryder. Oh, that's right. His, uh, his servant was, um, Francis Drake. That was Shinji's voice. Oh, bye, Shinji. V VT, help! Shinji reached his hand out for me. He's begging with eyes strained in fear. But it's whether the quivering of his mouth or his pride, the words help me won't come out. Ah, 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 ah. Professional voice actor right here. There's no saving anymore. There's no point in rushing over to him. Oh yeah, I don't know. I have Tom Onomai. I got to choose who my servant was from the previous Holy Girl War and I went with Foxwife because, duh. Duh, Fox Wife is best. Like, Nero's, na, Nero's nice and all, but you just can't beat Fox Wife. There's no point in rushing over to him anymore. On top of that, if I got cl too close, the noise would overwrite me. All I can do is ignore Shinji and just keep climbing upwards. And yet, my hands and feet move before I can think as I race over to take Shinji's hand. You, you, you. Ugh, Shinji's body is heavy. No, it's that he's been rooted. The lower half of his body is already fused with the hallway. 
Oh, for fuck's sake, what the hell are you doing here? Don't you get that it's pointless? Useless, I can't stand looking at you, beat it! Shinji lets go of my hand, Sti stifling his spirit, his eyes cry telling me to not come over here. He's keeping his hand from reaching out for help by his own will. Ugh, that's right, it's completely right, you shitty friend. So hurry up and run for it already. D damn it, damn it, damn it, right when I remember everything, right when I thought I could go back to the Holy Grail War. This isn't how I was supposed to go at all! You're all just bugs, just insects. This wasn't a fair game at all. Ah! Honestly, this Shinji isn't too evil. He's like a child still. My ostrich hand was empty. The powerless to save anything. The man who called Yo, the man who called Yo here VT his friend, coolly vanished before his eyes. With the thump of a remarkably loud heartbeat, the echoes mirror. I wonder what this feeling is in my chest. It's not that I'm afraid of the abnormalities before me. I feel nauseous, but I don't know what it is. I'm suffocating, but I don't know why. But I can't stop right here. Right now I have to get away from that noise. I'm just gonna go up here. And the goop. And the shadows. Lovely. Up we go to the rooftop. All right, well then, let's hope my, my caster makes it in time. Well, this is ominous. The moment I reached the rooftop, I couldn't believe my eyes. The sky is black. The city is black. Even the ground I'm looking at is, has been dyed black. It's like an ocean of the night. An in, in an instant, the surface, world uh, the surface of the world was coated in darkness. The single saving grace that is, is that it was still ab a uh, abided by the concept of height. The, the black ocean stretches from the land to the horizon, but the water level hasn't reached us here. The rooftop is still high enough to be safe. Ah! There's no way not to me out here! What's pulling at my feet? Stop it! Let go, Yuka! You're my friend, aren't you? Why are you doing something like this? I hear a scream from the floor, third floor of the school building. I look back to go help them, but the third floor is already completely eroded by the noise. They're... Already. No! Stop it, Yoti! Don't come near me! Don't! I'll die! Not me! The noise is data. My confused mind calls up incoherent memories. No, it's not because I'm confused that I can remember things I've forgotten. The black noise melts together with data of whatever it touches, systematically overriding with its data. Rather than a bandage covering the wound, it's more like bacteria itself in the wound. <laughs> Fading! Fading away! Not when I finally come back! Oh, people are dying again. Their voice completely disappears. The data assimilated their body, Avatar, and their mind represented by the wedge ships, the soul, was saturated with the data that absorbed. Give me my servant already. Again, the sense of nausea. My fingertips are shaking from the bizarre sensation before me. I want to scream, somebody help me! My well, throat is dry, but no, it's not dry from terror. If the shaking was from fear, then why? Why does my body feel this hot? Right now, my heart beats strongly with a force opposed, uh, a direct opposition to fear. <laughs> what is that? BB! It's BB! That's her voice! <laughs> Sneaky, the peek on secrets isn't very tasteful, you know that, puny little master. A voice from the sky, no, it's echoing from the heavens. A sweet, seductive tone. A scolding, flirty, yet innocent, wi wicked voice of a girl. Give me that BB. I can't believe you ran all the way out here. Did you believe, did you think you could run away from me, the world? You're so silly. I went through the trouble of making you forget, yet you had, just had to go and recall. But I'll forgive you. You don't have to worry about a thing. I can let you win. I love BB. Without fighting, without effort, without getting hurt. 
Throw don't think too hard. Oops. So give in and sleep like a puppet. I'll give you the holy grail. No thanks. That can't be good. No. See? This is why you just give up. Hey, give up, give it up. Why not give it up? Give up, so give up. Just give up! I don't know what she means. Just that the world is ending. When I run out of footholds, I'll be swallowed up just like all the other students. The only thing I can do is tremble. Yes, that's right. Just fall asleep after all. After all, every one single one of you are just worthless living beings. That's it. The darkness keeps telling me to give up, but I can't do that. I finally understand that strong heartbeat that that sense of nausea is. This is anger. I'm going to fight back and fight like hell. Right now, I'm going to fight this voice, whoever this is, callously deciding that all the students are worthless. No, Thea, don't let BB kill you. See you, Jax. Thank you for showing up. Okay, I won't call you Jax the Femboy. I'll call you Femboy Jax. Huh? I mustn't look away. I mustn't give up. No, I can't give up. If this is the... If this is, if this, even, even if there's resistance to a few people, even if I know I can't run from this world, as long as there's blood in my body, I'll never. Show up, Fox Wife. Come on, Tomo. What, what are you doing? Don't! Over there! It's the... It wasn't something as grand as prepared to die. We're just not wanting to give up. I jumped off the rooftop. What? What? Falling, falling, falling. Piercing through the ground that turned into an ocean of night. Yo, here's VT body fell into a bottomless pit. Okay, this is narration. I don't have to talk my girl voice. Jesus fuck, thank goodness. Okay, give me Fox Wife, damn it. Give me BB or give me Fox Wife. Oh, Thea, um, I'll post in games all the um, the other Sakura 5 that we see. I know of at least two of them, and they are... There's no end to this falling. Everything but my senses, a direction has drifted away. Cause I'm free, falling... Yeah, okay. Everything but my sense of self is being torn apart. Not only is my vision feel peeling off in globs, but so many, but there are so many possessions and memories, so not even my bones will remain. It looks as if there's nothing more I can do. In other words, it's game over. Fuck no. Fox wife, hurry up. Fox wife, hurry up. I cried out, what the hell, as I screamed insults on myself. That, that I was too rash, that I made a mistake, that I was wrong. In my tremendous regrets, my face was filled with tears. That was too futile because there was no one who can save me anymore. That's, uh... That looks impressive. Alright, come on. It's a good thing I'm wearing leggings. leggings. Had us a moment past or an eternity? There's nothing I can compare to falling through this space. It's like I'm weightless. Don't girls have the... Never sing? I'm gonna sing your face off. I'm gonna sing your fucking face off for that, Chris. I just... I can no longer remember the light of day. The land I once stood. Now is now some million... A hundred million light years away. My limbs have been suspended for so long. It's... That they can no longer move as I want them. It could be paralysis or maybe just atrophy. My eyes have forgotten light and since 
lost their function. Same with my mind. It grew tired of this unchanging world and eventually closing itself off. My body is like mud and my heart like lead. I want to stay laying my mind to rest already. I want to forget myself already. Worrying that I might be forever, I want to avert my eyes and break already. But... There's still something bothering me at the edge of my consciousness. It may be imagination. My mind clings to the hope of shred of hope but hallucinate. But there's a voice I just can't let go unheard. The voice coming from far, far away, leaving a trail of light in its wake. The voice is complete. It's completely, uh, yes, yeah, it's my cover. I'll sing a full cover one day. Actually, I want to sing adorable, uh, uh, cruel angel thesis, but name an adorable vampire thesis. Leaving no trail of light in its wake, the voice completely burning up, yet accelerates faster. Fox wife, fox wife, fox wife, fox wife, fox wife. Fox wife, come on. Look to the sky. Reach out your hand. Just say the word. Call out for blank. Uh, don't worry. I'll cover them eventually. My throat and lungs burn for, from thousands of years of disuse. My voice won't still won't come out. Even if I try to reach out my fingers. Yada, yada. My mind accepts that it's just hallucination. And once again, it's closed the lid on itself. And yet, I hear a voice say, Don't give up! N numerous lights pass through the darkness. Even as it's breaking apart, I can see a meteor cutting through the darkness. Well, that's cool. Uh, hey, darling, please hurry! You're heading to the outside world! We're not even a god to reach! A true dead end! Just a word, even if it's a single word, is fine. Even if you lost your memories of me, even if you forgot the days uh, you spent with me. I beg of you, please remember, remember your name, remember the way of your soul. As long as that remains, call it may, you are the master of my dreams. Goddamn right, Fox Wife. I know that radiance, I know that voice. My lost throat, my weakened arms filled with strength. That's right, her name is. Please! Comcaster, Tama no Mai. Ah, Kya! You called! You called for me! I've been waiting to hear from you! Fox wife for life. My hand touches an outside drum. It feels real. The sensation of endlessly falling is gone. All that remains in front of me is my dear old... My fox wife. Oh yeah, think about her. She's an actual, uh... She's an astral aspir uh, uh, aspect of Amaratsu, the sun god. So yeah, or sun goddess. It's been a while! Even if the moon will let you fall into the netherworld, I, the sun, will not! Okay. A, a guardian of the Yellow Emperor's mausoleum. Alright, good night, Thea. I'm, I'm gonna call it pretty soon anyway. Thank you so much for showing up. I'll, uh, I'll ping you with whatever you missed. Thank you so much for showing up. As a guardian of the Yellow Emperor's museum, mausoleum, conspiring with the yin to guide the lack of coolin, my mirror reflects the gold of the sun. Through rain or shine, overcoming good, the bad, the ugly, I be learned towards my darling's love. Heroic spirit of the Majus. Wait, heroic? Oh, well, whatever. No need to question it. Acknowledged by any and all as my darling's wifely servant. It is Castor. I'm honored to be here. I let her grumble how I've always been, have to deal with this. I do know if she's taking this seriously. That said, no one is better at ruining the moment, ruin the moment than this servant here. I don't know what you're talking about. A reasonable amount to face to download? I, I don't know what you're talking about, man. While I have seen some comments, I'd like to, I, well, I do have some comments I'd like to make. I'll let it slide this time. With the pink-haired fox ears and te, uh, fox tail, this servant is a servant of the Magus, Castor. 
This person, who I have forgotten up until now, who I couldn't completely forget, even in the Garden of Oblivion, who swore to fall by long me, you'll hear VT servants. The servant might not be able to read the room, but she came externally. She came to this eternally extreme darkness to save me, despite it burning her to do so. No one believes in Yo here, VT, more than her, my irreplaceable friend. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> I called her a friend. She's my fucking. She in the previous game I established her as the old, my one true love. What the fuck? Also, hang on. Don't tell me you have the essential cornerstone in your mission. Oh no! Tom was so sad! Oh darling, after you and I touched down- After you touched me down where it's all fluffy, you animal you! Nuh-uh. I may not know where I am right now, but I know I don't have that extent so I forget. But my soul is crying out I, that I did no such thing. I'm afraid your claims bear no truth. Shh! Figure. I could slip you a few- Air quote truths while I had the chance. Oh well, that's all. That's that. All in due time. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, darling, please give me your hand. Let's ditch this little nothing and hurry back to where we belong. Castor grips my hand tightly. A single flush of warm blood uh, rekindles my frozen body. My slumbering mind has now fully awakened. Yes, looks like the detoxification has completed without an issue. Please, this time relax and wake up. I and another person's purged and another person first curves that was affecting you, darling. I'm really glad you're safe now. When we wake up, please show me your smiling face again, master. Fox wife for life. Caster's words gradually, gradually fade from my consciousness. So does the dazzling sea of stars, and so does the sight of Caster. In the end, the only thing I was sure of aware of was the sensation of the fingers I touched. Even if everything faded away, that feeling would remain. Okay, please give me a fucking save. Woohoo! Okay. I think I'm calling it there because holy shit, uh, my voice is dead. Thank you so much for everyone watching. I will enter y'all in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, the giveaway. Worry not. And I will see you later. Bye! Well, hang on, actually. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, exit the menu. We're gonna exit that way. Yeah, I, I, I gotta, my voice is fucking dead, even with the humidifier to help, and me drinking an actual metric fuck ton of water, it's still, anyway, yep, I'll catch you in the next one.